Hi, my name is Sacha Narayan, my TA is Hal, um, and today we're going to be doing the Bunsen burner lab technique video. Um, so first I'm going to quickly describe the safety precautions since we are using a burner, so there is going to be a flame. Um, this obviously means there's no jewelry, all your hair is tied back up, we're okay though. Um, uh, definitely you're wearing your protective gear, you want to make sure that you have nothing of flammable substance near the burner, etc. And make sure that you don't have um, any interaction with your clothes right over the flame. So that's a lot of safety precautions. Um, so quickly I'm going to explain each part of the apparatus and then I'm going to show the assembly. This is the hose, it's going to be connected to the gas valve right here. Uh, we have the Bunsen burner itself, the flame is going to be coming out of this side. You can use this little uh, swivel right here to adjust the height of the flame, I'll be doing it later in the technique video. This is the striker, when the gas is on we use this to turn uh, to light the flame. This is our small beaker with water that we're going to be heating. Uh, these are our tongs, and then this is the ring stand apparatus that we set up in order to hold up the beaker. There's a smaller ring here which holds the beaker, the wire mesh which we put the beaker on top of. And then the larger ring stand up here is used to support uh, in case the beaker potentially tips, it can't over completely fall. So now we're going to begin the quick setup. So we're going to take our hose and we're going to put it into the gas valve. And we're going to take the other side of it and plug it into the burner. Right there. So that is the burner. Quickly, we're going to take our beaker and we're going to set it up right there. So right in the center, we want to make sure that, again, if it tries to tips, it can't completely fall over. Um, and then what we're going to start to do, so in order to actually light the Bunsen burner, we're going to have to open the gas flow and then use the striker on top of uh, the burner to open it up. So, so we're going to open up the gas flow right there. You can hear the gas running. And then you're going to take your striker and light it. And then you're going to drop the amount of gas that you're using. You're really going to drop it. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this bottom knob here and you're going to concentrate the flame. Wait, is it, should I just see the left pin right And as you can see, so the blue flame is typically hotter than the orange flame. And as we continue to swerve this, we can see that the flame is concentrating down. Since the gas is pretty high right now, again, I'm going to drop it a little bit more. It's going to become a little more manageable. And as right, if you can see really closely, there's actually two blue cones that we're going to be looking at. Um, there's an inside blue cone, and the tip of that is the hottest part on the burner. And then there's an outside blue flame, which is also pretty hot. Again, it's pretty high, so I'm going to drop the gas a little bit more because we want it a safe amount. And at this point, the gas is pretty highly reactive to the changes. So now at this point, we're going to slide this under our beaker. And as you can see on the top, we're starting to heat up the beaker. We're really starting to heat up. And you want to make sure it's not too high such that the glass is going to be melting. And as we can see right here, if you want to look closely, the blue cone right there is going to be touching the beaker. As you can see, the beaker is heating up and it soon is going to be boiling water. Also, is there, um, is that from here or from my So the easiest way to understand whether the height is appropriate is definitely you don't want the flame to be too large, especially when you put it under. And you also want the flame to be relatively concentrated enough, but not too much to the point where it could potentially melt or damage like the glass. A and so as this is heating up we can definitely see by the condensation uh, and the evaporation that's going to be happening the water eventually will get to boil but that takes a while so um, yes that is the process so I'm gonna quickly begin the disassembly so we're gonna move this guy we're gonna take the gas we're gonna shut the gas off that turns the flame off what we're gonna do we're gonna move this out let the Bunsen burn a little bit to cool and we're gonna detach the hose so there's no more gas flow and we're going to attach the hose here. Now you also want to be careful when handling the Bunsen burner after you use it because it's hot in certain places so the base is not. And then to remove the, wa uh, the beer crib of water, we're going to take our tongs, go around the top and securely clamp it and then lift it off the ring stand. Then you can attach the hose to the gas valve. So that's the Bunsen burner lab technique.